Welcome to Digital Creators, and if you're new to iMovie, then this is the video for you. We're going to start from the very beginning when you open up iMovie and show how to import your files and preview them and some other features. So let's get started. When you first open it up, it's going to be pretty bare. At the top, you're going to see Media, Projects, and Theater. Media is where you can view or import your videos from either iPhoto or from your Macintosh. Right now, mine comes up as you can see on the photos library which was already there and these are all the all the uh, photos and and videos that I have already in photos library the ones I want to use for this project are actually located on my desktop so in that case um, I'm going to click down here to iMovie library and create a new event and I'm going to call it new library because that's where I'm going to import my files from my desktop to. Then I'm going to come up here, click File, Import Media. Mine are located on the desktop, which is down here. Click on Desktop under my folder called Examples. And I'm going to Shift Click, Shift Select the first one, and Shift Select the one down here, but not the last one import and now you can see they're all being uploaded and rendered into my iMovie and I will show you once we're done this how to access them in your iMovie library folders on your Macintosh but the good thing about it is as they're uploading or rendering into your iMovie you can still work on these clips the other way to bring files in and I'll slide this over so I can see my examples folder here is you can click and drag. So I'll take this one, drag it, and and put it that way. Which is why I didn't select that last one. So there are the three main ways you can upload your files, pictures, and videos into iMovie. The media project, let's actually create a media project first and then we'll go over there. So the, now that I have my videos uploaded, I want to create a project. You really have two ways, three ways if you build apps and want to create an app preview. Uh, new movie is the one I'm going to select. And when it opens up this other window, you can see you have a bunch of different themes you can select. And if you one fits what you want to do, these are really nice. These are really nice to use. They make your, your project look professional and they're simple it's just clicking your videos and dropping them down and we'll go over that another time in another lesson but we're going to create no theme blank movie and we're going to call it iMovie intro now that we have our project The screen has changed a little bit. As you can see down here, you have your timeline. This is where you're gonna click and drag your clips that you wanna preview down in here. Over here on the right is your preview pane. And if you wanna go back to your projects, you can always click this arrow up here, projects. And it will send you back to that first window when I showed you media projects and theater. So projects is where your files are automatically saved as long as everything's working right. iMovie doesn't have a save feature. If you look up here, file, no save, save as, nothing. As you complete stuff in iMovie as you're building it, it's gonna automatically save your project and this is where you would find it. So a lot of times you may close out iMovie and then you come back in and think that your project is gone because it didn't open up under that project. If that's the case, you come over here to projects see if it's still located here and you can click open click it open and start your project that way so a couple different ways you can preview let's click back on my project here a couple different ways you can preview your your videos before you input them you can scroll over the video and it's going to automatically play over here. But if you go up to view, 
there's a couple different features. Loop playback, you might want to have selected, and auto skimming, and then probably snapping, which we'll get over in a later video. So what does auto skimming do? That just means as I'm dragging over this, and you probably can't hear it because I have headphones on, it's going to play the audio along with the video preview in that right hand box right here. So I'll drag it and I can hear the sounds as I'm skimming. You may or may not want that on and if you don't, you can always go to view and click off auto skimming. Loop playback. I can grab a selection and let's go up here where she starts writing. Grab it. Now I just clicked and dragged and I'll do that one more time. I'm going to click hold drag and release and now I just selected that portion of the clip. If I go up here to view play selection or backspace the backspace uh, slash play selection it's going to play that selection and because I have loop playback it's going to continuously loop that playback. If I just want to play normally I'm going to take that scroller and stop it somewhere and hit my space bar. Once I hit my space bar, it's going to play. I hit it again and it stops. Space bar play again stops. Space bar play, hit it again, stops. Pretty simple. And the last thing I'm going to show you before we get into dropping your files down here and building your little movie project is where these files are kept. There may be times where you're going to lose things or think you lost them and you may want to try to find them. If you click on Finder, by default under Movies, you're going to see iMovies Library. Well, if you click on it, nothing happens. It, it's just a, um, a packaged content. So what you want to do is right click on it and click Show Package Content. In here, you're going to see my project folders that were that I built in iMovie and the last one I did was iMovie intro so we'll click on that subfolder and there's the project so if I click on that I can open the project up that way if I click on new library original media this is all the videos the original media that uploaded into iMovie. So if you think you lost it, this is a good place to check and scroll around through to see if you can still have access to your files. So hopefully this helps anyone who has lost their their footage or think they've lost it. Uh, like I said, a good place to check is go to your movies, right click on iMovie library, show package contents, and that's one way to have access to your, your footage. Or if it opens up and you can't find it, go to your projects and you'll see that it might have already auto-saved in here and just didn't open up when you open up iMovie. So that's all we're going to go over today. Um, hopefully you got some use out of this. And next time we'll start building our movie and going into some more features of iMovie. So thanks for joining us here on Digital Creators. Uh, best of luck to you, and thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like, because it always helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Later.